Good morning, folks. Well, maybe afternoon or evening to you. Who knows? Why do I even say that? Anyway, I'm out here to build. Bright and early. Nice, cool morning. Uh, last night, I took all those deck boards, placed them up there, and all but one are in good shape and i think even the one that's bowed up these are pretty flexible i'll be able to get them uh all put on today i hope i'm fixing to head to town i've got big dog loaded down with junk as you can see i've made some room here can now get the truck up in here i got that old bed loaded a bunch of construction debris in there so we'll get this all to the dump today i'll get rid of this and this just gonna have to be here a while I'm gonna need a bunch of that today and uh, but guys that's like 750 pounds right there on that one end of the deck so it's built strong I'd say of course it's spread you know that weight is distributed throughout the structure so but it's good to know that it hasn't even flinched and I think right in there I'm just gonna probably shim that one piece uh, I'll find something good to shim it with and it's not going to rot in time. We'll see how it does. I'm going to try it with the screws, but I think it'll still just dip. I don't know. We'll get to that point. All right, now I'm going to go take that to the dump. I'm going to get this fascia board that's going to go on here, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I either may do the 2x12 or 2x10, whatever they have treated. I remember last time, whatever they had the 2x12s, they didn't have any treated. So uh, I could even go with a those are two by sixes i could even go with two by eights if i had to i don't know whatever they got man i'm not driving any further for one board and i did the math uh i picked up screws they're not enough i need 24 screws at least <laughs> waldo scared me 24 screws per board all the way down so that package i got only has 365 so i'm gonna have to pick up another one and screws aren't cheap, man. They are not cheap anymore. I think it was like 50 bucks for those in there. All right, man. I'm going to take y'all with me. I'm not going to put a time lapse on driving. Y'all have seen that drive a hundred times. So get to the dump. All right, if Jerry's still there, maybe I'll talk with Jerry. All right, I'll be back.
All right, it's uh, several hours later. I had to go make some other stops. Uh, but I'm going to at least try to get this board up with the block boards in between it. Got a 16 footer here, 2 by 12 treated. And I'm going to cut this in half. Uh, I'd like to do it in one piece, but there's no way I can handle this whole thing myself going up a ladder. I mean, 92 inches is going to be enough. So I'm going to get this first piece cut. It's going to have a few notches in it and get it up there. And it's probably about 1 o'clock in the afternoon now, but we'll work a few hours, see how far we can get. Do -de -do -de -do -de -do -de -do. What in the name of Montgomery Ward is going on here? Bold. See how square this end is. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, these ain't too heavy. Well, these are good. To drive up. Right. Top. I'm gonna have a notch here. Notch here. One shot at this, or it cost me 42 bucks. Actually, these things went down quite a bit. They're only 42 now. All right. find my jigsaw blades so this will have to do it's a handy tool Knees time.
green joints. All righty, righty, righty. All right, I got two cleats up there. That one split. Am I going to change it? No, I'm going to let it go. And as soon as I get it up there for fits, I'm going to clamp it. Then I'm going to start doing the leveling. That's very important. And you know, a smart guy that wanted to start putting boards down on this end first, which I'm still going to do. Well, a smart guy would have put them on the other side of the porch. No, they just stack all 24 of them right there. Oh. All right, let's see, how am I going to do this? This ladder really needs to be turned around the other way. I'll go up that side. Come here. Partner, don't see dough. Oh, does this weather feel good, man? It is nice and cool with a cool breeze. That's how you get a ladder set. All right, fortunately, this ain't too heavy. Fortunately, hopefully, I've got my cuts right. Still heavy though. This goes. This goes. The ladders are good. Stay there, buddy. All right, not the most precise, perfect fit, but with a little caulk and paint, you ain't gonna see that. Plus, I gotta raise that up some because I haven't leveled it yet. I simply got it slid in. I got one screw in down here. Now I gotta get my torpedo level, level it to the last uh, joist, rim joist. That's what that's called, rim joist. Man, it's come back to me. And. Uh, I gave, kind of gave it the eyeball. It's going to line up just fine. But it probably isn't the best idea that, that all that lumber's there. Uh, we'll see what we get. All right, then I got one more. That one will be simple. It's just one cut. It's already just cut a few inches off. It's ready to go up. So there's no notches there. I don't know what all that monkey business there is about. I had to cut a little piece of the T111 to fill in that spot. I'm going to do a much better. Alright guys, I got the first half of this uh, board up here. And all I had to do, it was good where I had it screwed in there. And all I'd do is raise it up off the cleat till it touched. And it was perfectly level all the way across to the other uh, deck joist there. Rim joist. So I don't know how much of that clip you saw me getting this up there or if it even recorded at all because the battery went dead on the GoPro. But if it's in there, then you've seen it. Uh, now I'm just going to go cut this one to size here. Put it up. Drill some holes in. Put some lag bolts in it. And uh, and see what we got to do from there. I still got to put flashing on, but I was just going to wait. Now I'll have to put this flashing on before I even start on the board. That don't take but a few minutes. The hardest part of that is bending it. And then I can wait to put the flashing on until I get back to the house there. I don't even know if I'm going to start on these deck boards today. We'll see how far I get. This shouldn't take me very long at all. All right, I'll be back. Okay, about here. I start muttering. But the sound quality is bad. I've got the tripod set up too far away. Uh, I had to get it set back so you could see what was going on and the wind was bad so we'll just do a voiceover here uh, what I'm doing is I'm gonna attach 
the second uh, rim joist board and get it close to level uh, right about this point uh, I'm just gonna drive one screw in now I stacked all these boards up towards the front of the deck and uh, I'm not gonna do any permanent leveling until I can get those boards moved back uh, kind of a stupid thing to do put those there Uh, if you watch the videos where I was putting up the ceiling joists for the screen patio and the deck joists for the deck, uh, I think a couple videos later I had to completely remove all of the deck joists because they were out of square with the house. And I don't know how I went wrong there. I actually moved them a few times. But now they are perfectly square and level. So... All I really have to do with this last rim joist is just level it to the last to the previous one. So that's basically what I'm doing here. I'm doing some useless muttering, but I don't want anybody complaining they couldn't hear. But I'm really not saying anything. You know my videos, I mutter a lot. there were a few other clips to this video uh, they didn't make it the GoPro ran out of battery I didn't realize it uh, it was actually but it, it, not a lot got accomplished other than getting this board up but this is if you can notice that closes the gap between the ceiling of the screen patio and the bottom of the deck and it looks a lot better it doesn't don't have a four foot gap up there three foot two foot whatever it was and uh, I have to come up with a way probably screen where I don't want birds getting inside up in there and nesting now the previous patio or it was actually a laundry room and a upper deck I tore that down a couple years after I bought the place but it had the same type uh, lower roof and I never had any trouble with birds getting in there but that doesn't but the wasps they'll get in there for sure so I need to kind of wasp proof it probably gonna use a screen but you know at the same time the water has to be able to drain through it so I may just go with some hardware cloth uh, probably with some screen behind it to keep the wasps out I'm going to have to go up there and move all these boards to that end. And I'm only going to put a couple screws in here for now. This is going to need to be just as close. Yeah, Alright. I'm moving some boards. learn by your mistakes all right folks videos getting a little long uh, sorry about the audio in the last clip that's why I did a voiceover uh, it's windy today sometimes this GoPro picks up uh, it seems like when it's windy it don't want to pick up as well and uh, I'm gonna fix that in the future they have a new microphone you can order for the GoPros I'm gonna get one of them don't know when so anyway today we got we got that up there so in the morning I'm gonna be out here bright and early tomorrow's gonna be a long video I want to move all those boards down and uh, I'll lay some of them out where I can get up there you know they don't have to be screwed down where I can get up there and start working but this first board will be overhanging this probably by half about three quarters of an inch and it'll notch around these posts and uh, I just got a couple of screws in each of these because 
I want to see if I get all that weight off there if anything changes with level. And if it's still level, I'll go ahead and put the, uh, uh, what do you call anchor bolts in. God, I can't think of stuff anymore. And uh, But you can see how that closes that gap quite a bit. Now we only have probably a foot. And like I said, I'll probably get some hardware cloth just to keep, you're not going to keep the wasps out no matter what. I just got to stay on top of them. So anyway, let me raise it up a little higher. Probably some hardware cloth that comes down. We'll see what happens. But by tomorrow, I plan to have this deck done and I am, I am not looking forward to it. I can tell you that because there's going to be a lot of on my knees and a lot of getting up and down. And other than this first board, I'll have to do that probably with a ladder. We're, we're gonna get, we're gonna get to work on this big time now. The weather's been good. It's it's good. We got a few 80s coming, 85s, but I think we're at the end of that, and I can't wait. I want to get this deck done, get the rails built, and get out and sit on this thing when there's no bugs. Perfect time of year for that. If y'all haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe, hit the like, hit the unlike, I don't care. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.